Seth Lexen, again, every time we hear this Seth prefix, we're automatically thinking about cephalosporins, okay? So cephalexin is the generic name for the trade name Keflex. Keflex is something you're absolutely going to see because it treats a wide variety of things that we often see in the hospital, okay? So indication for this is going to be skin infections, pneumonia, UTI, otitis media, okay? So you can see it treats everything from skin to lungs to uh, urinary tract to ears, okay? So we, we have a wide range of things that we can treat with this, and so that's why it's something that's given pretty often in the hospital okay so again keflex or ceflexin now remember the ceph tells us that it's a cephalosporin so this pharmacologic class is cephalosporin first generation therapeutic class is anti-infective so the way that it works is it's bactericidal like these other cephalosporins meaning that it binds to the bacterial cell wall and this leads to the death of the bacterial cell so with everything that we already know about cephalosporins and with antibiotics we know that we need to monitor our patients for cephalosporin allergy as well as penicillin allergy, okay? So it's gonna be contraindicated with anyone that has a cephalosporin allergy or penicillin allergy. We really wanna assess our patients, ask them prior to giving this medication if they've ever had any sort of reaction to penicillin or cephalosporin. And the reason for this is because these drugs can lead to anaphylaxis, okay? And this anaphylactic reaction is very severe, can cut off their respirations, um, and it can lead to dramatic uh, reactions to, to the patient. So it can lead to seizures, pseudomembranous colitis or C. diff, diarrhea, and phlebitis at the IV site. So we really want to have an open IV site, something that we can monitor and assess for any sort of uh, phlebitis. Okay. Again, assess for infection or allergies to any sorts of these medications. Obtain cultures prior to therapy. We really want to uh, obtain a, a urine specimen or a, a sputum culture prior to doing this so we know what the extent of the infection is, what the exact... Um, bacteria involved is so that prior to starting the medication we can kind of direct it that way and then assess as we as we go on are we improving is this uh, antibiotic actually helping we're going to want to monitor bowel function as we said this can lead to pseudomembranous colitis it can lead to um, super infection just meaning that the, the bacteria can become resistant to this medication and then that becomes much more difficult to treat so it's very important that we um, give the medication as prescribed and that we treat it as it needs to be this can also cause elevated liver enzymes so just little things that we really need to keep in mind with our patients here who are taking cephalosporins and specifically what we're talking about here is cephalexin or this keflex. has been another episode of the med master podcast brought to you by medmastercourse.com and nrsng.com my name is John Haas, RN, CCRN, student nurse mentor, and your biggest fan. If you're ready to demolish nursing pharmacology once and for all, head over to medmastercourse.com and use the coupon code PODCAST to save 15% on lifetime membership to MedMaster Course. MedMaster Course is packed full of 30 plus hours of HD video and audio content with tons and tons of free cheat sheets and downloads. Demolish nursing pharmacology. Never guess a med again. Go to medmastercourse.com. Coupon code podcast. You guys know what time it is now. Go out and do something great. Happy nursing. Happy nursing.